What if you could run a trade show on walnut shells? We've got a generator on site right now that we've been using and we're going to test connecting our system to another generator we're uh, testing out with the microgrid. So we're rewiring things to that generator. Uh, we'll fire up the engine and try synchronizing to that other uh, diesel generator. There was a lot of uh, things that actually happened just last week as our team did the hot staging out at the uh, All Power Labs uh, facility, trying to get everything ready before they could ship it over to the, to the, to the alleyway next to the hotel. We've got a 20 kilowatt power pallet that we are using and synchronizing to the microgrid, which is powering uh, the presentation hall inside. We have the controls and power system monitoring inside on some power meters that we've uh, temporarily installed. Um, as you've seen, all the power cable going out to the gasifier, the diesel generator, controls inside with all the power uh, measurement pieces and of course now running the, running the conference. So uh, all the uh, flat screens, all the displays inside, the vehicle charging out here. We have a couple of uh, EVs out here. Uh, both of those are uh, running off the uh, microgrid powered by the walnuts. Sungevity here has a uh, solar powered uh, popsicle truck. So they have solar panels on uh, their system and they're powering uh, refrigeration. This is the first time the Verge Conference has uh, set up a microgrid and working with a variety of other partners and it's uh, coming together and working well. Okay, so we're running about uh, 8 to 10 hours a day and uh, powering the conference the whole time and then every night gets tore up and packed up and uh, in the morning gets uh, reassembled. Uh, not, the, not the easiest logistics uh, in the world but uh, shows the versatility of the equipment and the ability to set up these microgrids on 100% renewable energy um, quickly. So looking at transformation of our power grid, um, we're looking at some of the future pieces of what, what will power the future. It just goes to show that when you start talking microgrids, it's not an off-the-shelf solution. It's about various different elements of technology coming together to really get there and you can pretty much guarantee it's pretty impossible in two weeks. But what's been achieved here is fantastic in that time frame.